true and what's not. Uh, partly because we have cable news that has to keep your attention and keep you entertained 24 hours a day. So they got to sensationalize stuff. We've got the internet where everybody with an opinion sends stuff around and once things get going, they never stop. What was somebody said, or uh, read this somewhere, that we all like to hear that we're right. And on the internet, there's always somebody who will tell you you're right. Uh, because there's just all sorts of information all, all the time. And, and, and so I really do think this is one of the biggest challenges we face in our society is how do you figure out what's true and what's not? I can't tell you how much of our time is spent responding to emails or calls, people upset, concerned about something, and, and just we have to figure out, okay, what part of that's true, what's exaggerated, what's out of context, and just try to sort through what, what, what the truth is. Um, it, but we all face this, this challenge. So, so one of the things I try to do is I do send out email newsletters every once in a while, uh, we do put up stuff on Facebook and, and website and so forth and try to make sure, th and, and one of Michael's jobs is to, is to double check all the facts that we put up and make sure that they are verified that, that we are putting up accurate information. Uh, but I understand we are all bombarded with this stuff all the time. And I'm still getting emails about, some bill introduced by some congressman that never existed, you know, is a number that never existed, but it was some sort of terrible tax on something or another. And, and, it just, and it's been going on for years. It just never stops. It, it, is, it is really a frustration because, you know, we talk about real problems, and they're hard to find answers to. But if you can't even agree on the facts you're talking about, then it nearly becomes impossible to find answers. And sometimes I think that's contributes to our problem, just the, how hard it is to find out what's true and what's not. I'm sorry, that's a soapbox, you know, y'all didn't pay for it, but... Uh, Would you remind them if they want to sign up for the e-newsletter, okay. I have the little cards back there.